Hello, everyone. And when I say everyone, I'm talking about all my viewers. I don't know if you happen to notice, but I have over 57 subscribers to my YouTube channel. Way more than Beyonce. You know, I don't even care about those kinds of things. It's just that, you know, you start out and you hear about people becoming Internet sensations. But when it happens to you, it's a little overwhelming. But you know what? Forget about me and my YouTube superstardom. Let's make some art. And with Valentine's Day right around the corner, let's put our hearts into it, shall we? Well, this is for all the remote learners of Rasta Point Elementary. And I hope that you know that even though we're not all together in school, that everybody here, the faculty, the staff, the students, we all miss you greatly. And we're looking forward to the day when we're all back together uh, here on uh, Maple Street working together on our projects. In the meantime, this week's assignment is pretty simple and straightforward. I want you to take a piece of paper and as large as you can, draw the outline of a heart. Make it nice and big. And if you're having trouble drawing a heart, maybe I can give you a little bit of a hint or a little bit of help on how to draw one. You can take something round, like a coffee mug or a glass, and draw a circle near the top and another circle also at the top so the two circles are touching each other. After you've done that, if you put just a little dot at the bottom of the paper, all you have to do is swing a curve around from the top circle, right down to the dot, and do it on both sides. And then you have a heart. But the real challenge of this assignment is going to be what you put inside the heart. Maybe you want to draw a picture of your family. Or maybe you just want to draw a picture of something that your Valentine really, really likes. You know, art is always most exciting and interesting when the viewer can relate to it in some way, especially with something as personal as a Valentine. So as you draw this picture, uh, think about maybe what it is that your Valentine loves the most. Maybe your Valentine is very much into hockey. Maybe your Valentine loves soccer. Maybe your Valentine loves unicorns. Well, whatever you decide to draw inside your Valentine's Day heart, I hope that you make it as colorful and as creative as you can. If you want to glue pieces of paper or glitter, if you want to use markers or crayons or paint, color pencil, anything that you want to make it more special, more interesting, prettier to look at, that's what you should do. And you should also share it with somebody important. Art should always be shared, especially when it's something as personal and important as a Valentine's Day card. Well, I can't wait to see whatever it is that you guys create. I hope that you enjoy working on this project. I hope you look forward to our next project together. But until then, stay creative, stay safe, stay cougar strong. We'll see you soon.